Here's another college star and now an LPGA winner, Jennifer Cupcho at seven. Listen to this one. In the hole for an eagle two. At the seven, that tied her for the lead. Here is one of those, a DT Ashuk, a birdie to tie the lead. Grant Boone, Morgan Pressel. Took advantage of a less than stellar second shot that she wasn't real thrilled with. The timing from the adrenaline might be slightly different today, but this looks like pretty good shot right here. Asking for it to go. Living dangerously here on the sixth. Golf course is still set up to make birdies. That sixth hole moved up a little bit. 16 drivable again today. So it's set up for some drama. It's a four round tournament, not a three round tournament. You've got to put all four rounds together. First drop shot of the day for Unhi. In terms of di difficulty, Chip coming off a little downhill lie, but as Morgan said, plenty of green to work with. Yeah, didn't start that left enough. You have to read these chips and the slopes, how it's going to send the ball. Go back to six. And this is a par putt for Zhang. Five pars and a bogey for Rose. Tied for the lead with Aditi Ashuk and Jennifer Kupcho. This is Kupcho for par. Yep, solid. And leaning heavily there on the best club in her bag, her putter. But good up and down. Seven is a tough par four. More risk reward that way. Back at the eighth, just two shots off the lead. It is the rookie from Korea, hit on you, and pulls the string and avoids that back bunker. She'll have that to get within one. What a start to her first season on the LPGA Tour. You have to play for it being more into than from the right to left. She's going to ride the wind a little left. She knew immediately that that had a potential to go too far. Took a nice soft bounce though, Tom. Yeah, it did. Otherwise, she was going to end up where we saw a DT a shot. Hit on you to get within one. It's the fourth time in eight events in a rookie season that she's begun the final round with a great chance to win. Yeah. Okay. No damage. She's going to need it for this shot right here. Oh, did she get it or what? What a gorgeous play. This is G's par putt. Kupcho, of course, missed. But Unhi G makes the par. His hate on you. At the nights of fourth shot, she drove it in the penalty area here. We're talking about DTS shot, cutting it fine down the left, but she... Oh, my goodness. It was robbed in the end. She was robbed. How did that not go in? I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't know how to just fall in. I guess the wind's blowing the other way. Kind of like that. Nicely done. She had diff very different technique than what a DT used. Very short backswing there. Well, I think it's easy to, to look at them as juniors, but for the most part, I mean, they're all established players in their own right, and they're very used to playing in senior events as well. It's, you know, they're all good friends. What, 15 holes last week in that Bank of Hope LPGA match play. Third at the par 5 10th for Jennifer Cupcho, trying to regain a share of the lead. How about this one? Plenty of length to get there in two on this par five. Really well done. Yeah, she narrowly missed out on a medal. Finished fourth in that Olympic women's golf competition. And that one narrowly misses. So that's going to be a bogey for a DT. Not quite able to give it enough pace up that slope. 
When she won 53 weeks ago in Vegas at the match play, she became the oldest winner from Korea on the LPGA Tour. Jennifer's always been a wonderful ball striker, typically near the top in that greens and regulation category. But just hasn't quite been as good this year. As it gets over the mound, it goes downhill towards the hole. Oh. Oh, beautiful. One bounce, Karen, into that upslope. Made that look easy. Hit on you at the 10th or 3rd. From here, about 20 minutes away. And I think about that preview that we got of Baltus Rawl a couple of weeks ago. The rough is thick. It's going to take some power just to get the ball out of the rough if you do miss the fairways. She played well at Upper Montclair Country Club, which many players said was. Especially considering this whole location, K is on about a five, six yard shelf. Manages to keep it on that top, top level. That'll be all right. Big butt here, Kupcho to take the lead. No, didn't give it enough. It's already had a couple of twos on the card already. One came at the seventh, pulled her second shot there. 11. So in he G's tee shot finish in the bunker, out to here, this to save. Yes! Oh, good save. It dropped a shot at eight, having made it to the top of the leaderboard. But, uh, to ricochet out of bounds is a tough one. All right. Stays nine under. Would get up all the way. Just didn't quite carry it far enough there. Karen needed another two paces or so in the air in order for it to have a little more steam. And knowing what it feels like and knowing how your body reacts under pressure. Yeah, defensive putt. Similar to what. We saw from Cheyenne Knight in the group of head, group ahead. Just tough to trust how much uphill that. She remains tied with Jennifer Kupcho, who's playing the 12th. Whole location in the 12th, all the way back right. She misses that ridge there that cuts across the middle of the green. One of the few players under par on the golf course, Danielle Kang for birdie playing as the hardest hole on this golf course today. Only the second birdie. Hitting up to an elevated green that sloped away from her. She's worked so much on her bunker play, trying to elicit more spin. That was just. Bogey putt for Jennifer Kupcho. Did move a lot. I'm not sure I had the pace to get there. This is the par four 12th, and it is Korea's Hedon Yu, our 22 year old rookie who has been so impressive in her first season. Three times she's been second heading into the final round. And in contention here, just two back. Trying to punch something under the wind. Looks like it's turning away from the hole. That will be on that bottom shelf. We've seen players struggle. Very good two putt in the end. It's a good place to do it, right in uh, the backdrop of New York City. Now, Kupcho at 13. 
in the correct portion of the green. Jennifer Cupcho for a birdie here at the 13th. A longer putt than she would have liked. Speedy with right to left break. Yeah, just need to get that third shot in closer. So just a par for Cupcho, one of the easier holes on the golf course, but the golf course is certainly not playing easy right now. These conditions making it. Ladies European Tour, 13. It's so Unhee G for her birdie. Oh, walking it in. It just needed a bit more. Seventeenth year out here, Morgan. She was playing obviously when you in your heyday. I kind of had some flashbacks the way she reacted to that putt to the one which she won the US Open. And she had with Gilly. She just doesn't seem flustered at all, even though she's in quite the predicament here. Now just cleared that tree off that downslope. Downslope was good because it was into the wind. What a shot. Chase it after it. Wow. That was spectacular. What a recovery. I mean, maybe it's a better angle from over there. Um, you know, the tougher the conditions get, the player with like Jennifer Cupcho shines. 13. This is hate on you. Drove it in trouble here, so couldn't go at the green in two. Trying to chip it in for birdie. Still has a chance for a par. And uh, how she goes about her business on the golf course. Looks unflappable. Eleven pars and just a single bogey on the card for Rose Zhang. Move on to the next hole without any damage after a poor drive. Give us some momentum. Let's go to 14. And G for par. Hanging around, isn't she? She had a share of the lead. Not long ago, Rose Zhang, one of those young girls playing in AJGA events. Here's Emily Pedersen at the 18th. Birdie's tough to come by. But the Dane drops it in from long range. It's an interesting thing that you see, Tom. Better putters tend to be yeah. more aggressive because they're not as much afraid of the comebacker. As I look at Jennifer Cupcho today, has been very tentative. It's uh, time to bring in the pros. Cupcho, third shot. Little, little sandwich shot from 77 yards. Oh, yeah, that's really good, Kay. Good to save par. It in nice and tight, isn't it? Yeah, and she needed to save par here. What have you noticed, Karen, about Rose and her demeanor today as she struggled a little bit as opposed to yesterday? You could see that early on she was um, a little bit flustered. Not so much flustered, but um, her head was hanging a little bit lower than, than you'd see her walking with it normally up high. Now, Cupcho for par. Great up and down. That's champion stuff there from Cupcho. Saving par at 15. Get out here to the course. Big putt of yeah. this goes oh. in. And she just can't get it to drop. Had a good chance on the previous hole after that wonderful recovery. And that was primed for her first birdie. So she's keeping it very interesting here. Her country. She wins on a stage like this. She's got some work to do now after dropping a shot here at 14. Man, that's a tough three putt. We know the 14th hole is playing as the toughest hole out here today, but get the ball in the bottom of the hole yet today and still leading this tournament. Just a second to go at 16, the second for Unhi G. Little 30 pace pitch shot, also negotiating that slope down to the little bowl where the hole's located. Bunker. There's nothing. Stance. Okay, there's nothing but trouble on the other side oh. of this. She landed it exactly where she needed to. What wow. A, what a feat. I mean, that is just. As the holes start ticking away, the nerves do start to get a little bit more on this length putt, but she's showing no sign of that. By even Anna Davis in that final group today. A birdie putt to tie the lead for Cupcho. Oh, she knew it immediately that she didn't hit it how she wanted to. It's almost like she fell in love with the line and forgot to hit it. It was right on line. Again, another putt that just comes up a little bit short, runs out of pace for Jennifer. In her career, 
all over the world she's played. And uh, that was a really timely birdie. It will take it to the left. She's got a high shot, trying to hold it against that wind. And find the green. At 16, hit on you, who made eagle here yesterday with the hole moved up, makes birdie here. She's currently leading the Aeon Risk Reward Challenge standings. That's the million dollar first prize over the course of the season. It was to see if she can take advantage of having a gap wedge in her hand. 118 yards to the hole, wind blowing left to right. Stay there, there's a little ridge. Okay. Hit it in the bunker at 17, out to here, this is her third. Yeah, that's from 50 yards. And that one to settle down, so she's going to have a par putt to stay at nine under, needs to make that. Yeah. Well, she's uh, cleaned those putts up very well today. Feel like she's got to make this. And it started left and never came back. Well, sometimes when you try to hit those a little extra, you end up pulling them. Plus, maybe it pulled a little bit that way. But two holes in a row, Morgan, where she couldn't convert, that's going to eat at her. I'm counting a few. I'd say maybe four or five putts of that length that she has not been able to convert on this back nine. Wedge, laid up with the wedge, hit a wedge into the green to win instead of playing aggressively and going for the green. Second at 17 for Hit on You. She's a couple back. She needed that one to bounce up on the green, but. Aditi Ashuk had a share of the lead on the front nine. She's fallen back to six under this to go to minus seven. Back on the 17th green here in the final round of the Mizuho Americas Open. This is Haydan Yu, two back. Got to think this needs to go in. Good effort. Well, she's going to need a little bit of help and some magic on the 18th. But another good week for a player who at the moment looks like... I kind of feel like you... You know, you, you can't roll the dice too much. Oh, there you go. Looks like a good decision now, doesn't it? The third for Unhee G. 35-yard pitch shot from the rough. Decent lie. A lot of green to work with. I'd have to make it. Well, I think she went for it. 17. It's a moment ago. Second shot for Aditi Ashok. Got to be looking at birdie, birdie. And that sets up a putt to get to eight under par. To post nine under, this is her third. Low per percentage chance of making this has to deal with a little mound. Really well judged for pace. Yeah, that, that was really well done. Very hard to make from there. Give herself some breathing room going into the last two difficult holes. <laughs> Trying to draw, it's got to fight that wind. Oh, it's tough down there. That's not an easy part coming back up the slope. recent Augusta National Women's Amateur Champ and the first winner of that event will play off 
They'll go back to the 18. Actually, to her standards, she only has one top 20. That coming in the very limited field Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions. This heading way right. Yeah, that is in the fescue. It cleared the, the bunker, the last bunker, but it definitely is up in the high grass. We could somewhat... As to what happened just a few minutes ago, but the, the fact that she left this 18th green uh, smiling towards the, her friends that were waiting for her at the back of the green was, was a good indication of her mentality. Uh-oh. Went from the left bunker to the right bunker here, the second time around on 18. Get it out of this bunker, job number one. Yep. I think that was an easier decision to make as well with her opponent in this playoff also going left. Came out nicely. Going to be similar position to where Rose was in regulation. And now it'll be a chipping contest. Yes. Yes. She's going to have almost the exact same putt that she had about 20 minutes ago. Up just a right. little bit closer, by no means a gimme. Unflappable. And the pressure is on Jennifer Cupcho. Let's keep playing. This is too good. That one's much straighter. Beautiful drive, long and straight. Couldn't ask for a better, a better tee shot. Yeah, that got way down there. Right in the sort of pinching in where the bunkers are. And this one is drawing left. She's going to be short this time on the fairway. She'll go first. All kinds of trouble down the right side here. That's incredible. Another brilliant shot from Rose. She'll have that for birdie. Just to get in there, in there tight as well. Good looking swing trying to fade it a little and it's not oh, it slaps down that is at the front of the green that wind just caught it touch thin and groove low it sounded that's the risky oh. run Kay. Yep. You could almost write that scenario. You're just trying so hard to make sure you get it there that you way overdo it and <laughs> off the back of the green.
Rose Zhang is here, and she is here to stay. In her first start as a professional, she wins the Mizuho Americas Open. Stanford teammate, Megagane. 